was popping you are it should go a money should be what's up was good was good yo <laughs> shout out to all my people that is story <laughs> welcome to your girl channel what's up my love what's good you what so on to these episodes we are going to be talking all about be grateful for social media and stop complaining mm, yeah be grateful and stop complaining about social media <laughs> so i really just want to have like you know a well nation conversation gonna give you all some really great dope advice that could really help you out so let's go ahead we gotta hop right on into it Let's get it. Hi, <laughs> Chua. Thank you again for tuning back into your go channel. What's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> What's poppin' babies? What's up, you are? <laughs> What's up, my love? So, on to this episode. Like I said, babies, we're gonna be talking all about be grateful for social media and stop complaining, yo. Yeah, that's what the hell I said. I said it. Be grateful for social media and stop complaining. So, I'm going to give it a beer, you are. Today, I just want to have a conversation. Can we vibe? Like, can we vibe or can we not vibe, baby? Yeah, we vibe, then. So, <laughs> I want you all to be grateful for social media and stop fucking complaining. So, y'all may be thinking like, whoa, you know, like... Let me tell you, you are. So, if you tuned into my channel, you know that I've done a few topics in the past talking about social media. I did a topic talking about, like, you know, don't be grounded on social media. Instead, like, enjoy it. You know, um, I've done also a topic talking about, like, social media is not the problem. A lack of a spiritual foundation is the problem. Yeah, Shay. So I talked about different things on my channel, BBs, when it comes to social media. But today, I really want to dive deep, 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 BB, about like why you gotta be really grateful for social media. I really start to motherfucking, yeah, Shay, shift your outlook, mamas, papas, on social media instead of allowing God. To dictate, you know, your views from a nugget of ass back, you know. So, just for one thing, you know, I'm just going to put out there. Complaining does nothing. Complaining does nothing but we negative energy, negative vibrations, put you on a mood that's fucked up, and it's a waste of motherfucking time. You can sit there all day, baby girls, fellas, sitting up here complaining about social media, talking about everything negative when it comes to social media, you know, talking about everybody on a negative aspect because of social media. You can do that all day, every day. You know, like, sure, you can sit there and do that all day, every day, but where's that going to get you? You know, like, just, just being well, world, babies. Where is that going to got you? Is that going to make you feel any better? Is that even going to make like a difference in your life? Sitting here complaining about social media from a negative aspect. I'm going to tell you right now. It's not. <laughs> like girl, my dude. Like it's not. It's not going to, you know, butterfly you baby in any kind of way you know what i'm saying so we can go all day about the negative aspects of like social media because you know just being totally honest with you are like i'm not gonna sit up here and cop with you or like there is not you know negativity that is out there when it comes to social media because we all motherfucking know that it is 
we all motherfucking know that there are things when it comes to social media where there is very negative aspects. I ain't gonna act like there ain't because there is. You know what I'm saying? I would be fucking lying if I said that it wasn't. However, you know, it's very important that if you want to like really be on that kind of path where you're vibing more at a higher vibration you start to look at social media and be grateful for it at the end of the day you know it's a true blessing and disguise from a law god the universe the lord the holy spirit the divine the most high whatever name mama papa the you want to call god bye bye me baby because <laughs> god got both the names you know what i'm saying but it's a true blessing on the skies from a log of the universe from the most high baby because before social media you know how many people wanted to like start different businesses that they may really really wanted to start this business you know wanted to become an entrepreneur and they had no fucking route no type of like easy how to to figure out like how to start a business now these you can go right on fucking youtube right you know like watch a damn video about how to start it and then you know by the grace of a logo the universe if you apply yourself you can manifest a business within divine timing of course shit don't happen overnight but if you really ain't shit put the motherfucking work on a logo the universe can bless that to happen people that you know yeah, ain't shit not really come from, you know, like, backgrounds where they come from the motherfucking hood. You know, where they grew up on, a lot of people they knew didn't have fucking businesses. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that, like, they were surrounded in an area, you know, in a community where it really wasn't, you know, the thing to have your own business that you own. So they didn't know like how to even go, you know, in that route of like becoming a business owner. And, you know, they went the route of going through social media and then they were able by the grace of a logo in the universe to manifest a motherfucking business. And maybe they could have been like the first person in the family to do that, you know? And I mean, of course, not everybody in the hood didn't know, but I'm just using that as an example. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I grew up in her my whole damn life, you know, until I became older and shit like that. So, I know firsthand, like, you know, growing up and shit like that in the hood, like, I ain't motherfucking see motherfuckers out here that own their own business. Like, it was very bad. Like, I seen, like, real, like, once in a blue moon and shit, and shit like that. But most people that I grew up around as a shorty, as a kid and shit like that, they be on the same own their own business. You know what I'm saying? They had to work for somebody and shit like that. So I'm just seeing like social media by the grace of a log of the universe provided outlets for motherfuckers that came from that type of culture. Where we ain't seen shit like that, you know, for well, for well. And by the grace of a log of the universe, we had the opportunity to manifest businesses for ourselves because it was a lot easier we had a how-to route by the grace of the most high we had access to that you know that information that was provided why do a lot and a lot of it was through social media that could help people you know start those businesses the beautiful thing about today's time and i've said this before my channel babies we are living in an age full of motherfucking information <laughs> can i say that again or can i not no i'm gonna say it again we are living in an age full of information and sometimes babies you know a lot of people take that shit for granted when you really look up you know people that grew up you know like generations back they didn't have access to a lot of the shit that we have access to you know and that's why i'm saying like you gotta get your heart out of the nugget of shit when it comes to social media stop focusing all your attention on that and focus on the positives of what a logo the universe blessed these platforms to be created and how people have used them to maximize them in so many different ways you have a lot of single mothers out here. Yeah, Shane. 
that was that was barely mo- making motherfucking ends meet. You know what I'm saying? Working jobs that they couldn't fucking stand. Trying to put food on the table for their sons, their daughters, or both, or whatever like that. And they they had a passion to do something. But they didn't know how the fuck to do it because they didn't have access to, you know, the, the proper tools to figure out like, how to do it. By the grace of the Lord of the universe, you know, they started watching maybe just somebody's random page on Instagram. And they're talking about the very thing that they may have a passion at doing. And that person may be talking about like how you can get into stuff like that. So then that single mother starts to do her research because she's following her intuition that a log of the universe is guiding her through. And before you know it, it she ain't her girl shit. She want a whole path to, you know, opening up a business or starting a passion of hers that she really, really was passionate about the whole time. And along with the universe, bless her to manifest that. And now she's able to put more food on the table for her and her babies at the end of the day. More food on the table for her and her babies. Making sure the bills pay the shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You have, you know, fathers out here. Same thing with them. You got niggas out here, dudes out here where, you know, maybe they had a passion at doing something. And society always told them they couldn't do shit. You know what I'm saying? Or made it seem like that they were never going to be more than what they seen growing up and things in that nature. So then they start learning about like, how they can open up their own shit. Like just, I'm just throwing some wild about shit out here. Maybe it's a barber shop. <laughs> I'm just giving examples, you know? are <laughs> Maybe it's a barber shop. Maybe you want to open up like his own nightclub. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga love going to the club and shit like that. He like, shit, I think I want to open up my own damn nightclub. He start doing his research. He start watching more videos on YouTube. He start, you know, connecting with different people that he needs to connect with online through Instagram. And he's starting to learn how he can really make that dream into a reality and by the grace of a log of the universe with some hard work and effort you know he ends up manifesting that you know you have people that even if they didn't come from the hood you know like let's say they didn't come from the hood at all right and they have you know aspirations to do certain things that maybe differentiate from what they already are currently accomplishing but they want more knowledge of it so they they do their research you know what i'm seeing on different social media platforms to gain the proper knowledge and information on what they need to do for that for that next wow you have motherfuckers out here that you know they really really want to start like doing some form of like physical exercise right but they can't fit it in the damn schedule you know but they're being caught follow me here my mom papa they're being called by a log of the universe to start exercising more or start doing yoga more or something you know despite of however they look they just may be feeling like they need to move the body more so they but they don't have time in the schedule so they go on youtube and they start watching people right from their home or whatever they got time you know and they're able now to incorporate it in the schedule you have motherfuckers out here they want to change the whole diet you know maybe they want to go vegan you know what i'm saying but they maybe they may not be surrounded around people that are vegan so they start watching people online to find out more information and to do the research on you know going vegan you are, I can go, yeah, like, yeah, like, are we doing this today, like, are we really doing this, yo, you know what I'm saying, baby, it's like, are we doing this, am I gonna spit off, like, a thousand motherfucking examples, is that what your ass is want me to do, cause I ain't, <laughs> Like, what you want me to do? You know, but like, y'all got the point, my love. <laughs> like, 
essentially what i'm saying baby is like there's a million different things yo a million different things that is positively that is going on on social media you know to take it even step further when you talk about all these protests and shit like that social media by the grace of a logo and notables were huge platforms to get the world out you know yes i mean people have a voice through social media whereas before you know it was very hard you know for a lot of people to stand up and speak on certain things for a very long time because they felt like that they didn't have a voice you have artists you know whether if it's musicians whether if it's actors actresses whatever like that you know painters that they can put the work out there through social media and turn the passion you know into the actual career there are so many things that a lot of the universe my loves is blessing through social media so it is important babies that stop being ungrateful you know my loves and again i know my mom and papa that you can look at what's going on from like a negative aspect and that's what you can you know consume but see if that's what you're consuming then that says a lot about your mind baby that says a lot about your mind because see here's the reality of it you ain't shame we don't live in a fucking poor for god's world you know what i'm saying there's there's this thing called duality so duality means that you're gonna have the positive life experiences and then you're going to have what i like to call the negative life experiences you always gonna have a mixture of both babies because that is the point of life because it helps you learn more lessons along the way you know it helps you shape your character by the beast of a logo the universe as long as you're learning your lessons you know what i'm saying so it's not about the negativity that's on social media but it's about what the fuck are you going to focus on my girl my dude you know baby it's like what are you going to focus on are you going to focus so much on the negative side of duality when it comes to social media that you allow that to, you know, over, you know, over just pretty much take everything that a lot of good the universe is blessing when it comes to the positive side of social media? Are, are you going to do that? Or, babies, are you going to challenge yourself, mama, papa, to like, you know, actually start to view things from more of a higher light? Be a motherfucking adult. Motherfuckers is adults nowadays. Meaning that if those certain shit that you don't like seeing, then make wise ass choices not to view the shit. Make wise ass choices on what pages to follow. Make wise ass choices on, you know, stop checking the explore pages or the, or stop giving your energy you know what i'm saying your mind your spirit your soul towards things that really you you feel don't resonate with you and then also mind your motherfucking business you ain't shit like <laughs> and like girl fellas like i'm just giving you some world tough love you ain't shit like mind your motherfucking business why did why do you give a fuck that much you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day the light which is the positive always overshadows the dark you know what i'm saying meaning that yes there's negativity that goes on when it comes to social media baby girls fellas but the positive of why a logo the youtube was promoted social media to be created overshines all that negativity far more but it's about where is your fucking attention on you ain't shame when you shift your mind you change your life you need to you need to remember that baby when you shift your mind mama papa that's how you change your life you have control over what the fuck you want to see on social media and, and what you don't want to see but it's about 
what do you want to do and even if you do say things that you really don't like you still have an option baby girls fellas to not internalize that so much to just constantly have the schooled view of social media and complain about it all day nothing's gonna be perfect babies that's not why we're here you know like as humans humans are not perfect nothing is like nothing in life is perfect other than a log of the universe the lord the holy spirit the divine the most high poet so you gotta get that you ain't saying like you gotta get that rainbow sunshine thing in your head out your motherfucking heart <laughs> you ain't saying like think of that shit just all, supposed to be all so perfect like that's not reality baby like i'm starry we're not here for that you know a lot of the universe is the only person that's perfect you know we're here to learn lessons and when you learn life lessons and you have to experience life shit ain't gonna always be fucking perfect and that's what everything in life so again be an adult and stop sitting up here complaining mama papa and learn to be grateful For the fact that a log of the universe have blessed social media to come into existence. Because believe it or not, it has changed a lot of people's lives from a positive, more high vibrational, great aspect. So I hope this helps my loves. <laughs> I hope this helps this, this help babies. I know you ain't saying like I know I gave you a little bit of tough love today, you know, and it may sound well cliche and all the shit that I'm saying, but no, I'm being dead ass motherfucker for well. You know, it's some well G shit. That's not no no cliche shit. No, that's some well ass shit. You ain't saying? Like her <laughs> you hear me? Like, that's one some well shit. You have to shift your mind, baby. You know, you have to like challenge yourself and not get in the way and stop, stop having this, this narrative in your heart. Because I'm going to tell you, that shit simulates from no fuck ass vibrational energy from Satan. Satan never wants you to be grateful. He always wants your ass, you know, to be very ungrateful and something that my moms and pops always taught me growing up and shit like that. Like, a lot God, the universe, he hates the ungrateful. I was always told that as a shorty. You know, my moms and pops always told me that Allah hates the ungrateful. He hates when people are ungrateful and all they want to fucking do is complain all day and just be negative. He hates that because even though, like I said, it's not I, like, come on, you are. I'm not saying that social media is perfect, but you when you think more on a higher vibrational level, and you see the glass half full instead of half empty you see the brighter side of whatever situation that is going on when there are things in that situation that a lot of the universe is bubbling that there is light in it it's not to see that social media is completely a dark ass negative space that's not true and if you really feel like that again that's a reflection of you mama papa and i'm sorry like i'm just keeping it man that's the truth baby that's a reflection of you because there are a lot of great things that you know a lot of the universe has permitted to come into existence and happen for humanity poet every since social media has came into a play so for me i don't look at social media as a issue i don't even look at social media as a problem i look at that there are other things that people are lacking within themselves and not doing for why it's becoming an issue and a problem in their life you know poet you know and that's just the truth you know and it's all about you know your it goes back to what i talked about and that episode that i did but i said like you know social media is not the problem the lack of your spiritual foundation is the problem that ties into that hey shane like that's the root of all of that and if you haven't checked that episode out 
I highly recommend baby girls fellas listen to that episode I'm gonna link it in the description box below because I go into way more detail about like what do I mean when I say that but I don't look at social media as a problem or an issue I'm actually very grateful to a log of the universe for social media like and like I explained earlier just you know sharing a little bit about me you know I grew up in the hood as a shorty you know and shit like that like I grew up in the hood you know my whole life when I was younger and shit like that so I truly appreciate the fact that the most high permitted you know humanity to create a platform that truly was an outlet in so many different areas and i seen how much has changed people's lives all around the world not just people that i know but people literally all around the fucking world including my own life you know like outside of me being a light working teacher on youtube and shit like that i'm a full-time model you know and I have a social media platform myself. <laughs> you know what I'm So, uh, you know, the way that I got started in the industry was through social media. You know, I have online businesses within the fashion industry. I, I got started through social media. So, by the grace of a logo of the universe, the way that I have manifested a lot of my goals, dreams, aspirations, it's been because of social media. But something about me that, you know, has always been the case. And I, you are, I tell you all this all the time. You should never be grounded on social media. You know, and I've never grounded myself in social media. I've always been on social media when it came to, like, what I've been pursuing. And, you know, just, you know, by the grace of a logo of the universe, growing over time. But... I never grounded myself in social media and I mind my fucking business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't allow what other people are doing to affect me and what the hell I got going on. Because at the end of the day, shit, I'm driving in my own lane. I'm focused on what shit I'm on each other. Oh, crrr. <laughs> I'm focused on Amani Sharifa, baby. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, <laughs> I do put my attention and focus on, you know, what other people are doing. And I don't feel a way about what other people are doing when it comes to, like, if someone's doing something when it comes to the social media. I don't allow that to affect me because I'm very secure. By the grace of a local the universe and myself and who the fuck I am at the end of the day. So baby girls, fellas, you have to think about it like that. Know who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? Be the type of girl, the type of dude or whatever that you are secure within the man or the woman that a local the universe is making you. And when you're more secure on that and you actually know who the hell you are, you are not going to be sitting up here, you know, being so negative. When it comes to truly a divine blessing that the Most High has blessed, you know, to come into existence within our lifetime. You know, remember, Mama, Papa, that, you know, not every generation before us, you know, generations back have had access to social media like we do. So you have to be grateful nothing's perfect baby that's life and you have to be an adult and understand that stop thinking immaturely and thinking that oh it's just supposed to be perfect i mean you're an adult like what the fuck like what the fuck are you thinking <laughs> i love you I. but i gotta be well with you like what type of sis will i be you know what type of what type of real ass bitch would I be if I'm not keeping it a being with my people? You know what I'm saying? But like, what the fuck are you thinking? Shit is not going to be perfect. But it, stop being so invested in the negativity and raise your vibration, my mom, papa. And be invested in the good things that's going on. Put your attention and focus on that. You know, invest your energy into that. You can't help everything that goes on on that. We all know what be going on. Shit, like, it's kind of hard not to know. But who cares? 
Hey, Shay, like, if you're not trying to help the problem, then shut the hell up and stop complaining and be grateful. You know what I'm saying? So, babies, for well, like, chill that shit. Like, relax. Relax. Relax, my mom and papa. Stop sitting up here getting all tight, getting all spicy and shit. Trying to get all spicy. It's not that serious. <laughs> nah, but for what? <laughs> <laughs> for well you are like really look at it as a blessing as definitely helping so many people you know rise to the top it's helping a lot of people and not even just when it comes to like business and finances but doing inner work it's really helping a lot of people in a world you know i recently did a topic talking about for you know my fellas mentor talking about like different things you know that they can do and i was touching a little bit on this so social media is very important my loves because it's not even just about business but it really helps a lot of people from an introspective from people healing from different things that they bundle. through social media helps with a lot of that babies so you have to be you know grateful you have to be very thankful because in all actuality, a world without social media, that would look like a whole different board game. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people would not be able to be in a good vibration as what they are on if a logo of the universe did not promote social media to come into play. It, at the end of the day, mama, papa, and I keep saying this because this shit is woke. You have to be the adult. You have to make good choices for yourself if you want better for yourself. Not to say you're going to be perfect, my loves, but you got to get in shame. Like, you got to drive your own damn boat and stop thinking that shit, the motherfucking DM. I don't know. Like, fish is going to drive it for you. I don't know. <laughs> but you got to drive your own boat to get to the next island that you try to go to. You know, so you have to make those choices that you feel a lot of the universe is guiding you to make, my mom, papa, so that we, your mindset can start to shift when it comes to social media. So I love you, baby, so much. I love you, love you, love you, my mom, papas. So, 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 so much. Please like this video so that way our channel can continue to go. Comment below, babies. Let me know, like, is there something that you have struggled with where, you know, you have had, like, some world negative, you know, views when it came to social media, but you are going to, like, challenge yourself, you know, to start shifting your thinking. Let me know. It's no judgment, babies. You know what I'm saying? Like, no judgment. Even if you do think like this, that's okay, mama, papa. At the end of the day, what have we been talking about, babies? We've been talking about that. You're meant to learn lessons. You know what I'm saying? You are meant to learn lessons. And as long as you are still living, you're still breathing, by the grace of a log of the universe, you are still able to learn your lessons. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you're listening to this and you know that you have really been that kind of person that has focused too much on the negative versus the positive that social media has really brought by the grace of the most hey it's as simple as just challenge yourself to you know shift that work on yourself and it's okay baby it's not my mama and papa it's not it's not you're not the worst person in the world for thinking like that but you know if a lot of the universe got you listening to my big ass mouth right now clearly he's showing you a sign that you might want to stop being more grateful and shift your thinking and just do things different in your own life so that way you can start having a better result and how you view certain things and that can translate in a lot of different areas of your life you know so it's not you know at all me coming from like a piece of judging you all or anything like that like said if you if you a supporter on my channel you already know big door like we don't judge people on this channel we speak facts 
but we don't judge at the end of the day because ain't nobody motherfucking perfect other than a log of the universe power yeah you know so we're here to support each other you ain't shame but we do keep it motherfucking well you ain't shame like we gonna keep it well because you know the truth is gonna help you it's not going to you know like at the end of the day bottom for you if i'm not telling you what's good you know babies remember being grateful that's how you get more blessings in your life because the lord of the universe sees that you're being grateful for the vowed things that he blesses you work every single day even if it's something on social media don't be the motherfucking negative nazi whether if you a dude or a girl you know don't be the negative nazi be grateful at the end of the day and be grateful from a genuine standpoint don't do it from like a you know just superficial wild standpoint or from like a you know you trying to fake like you're grateful don't be grateful from a genuine standpoint and when you show that and you show humility a logo the universe the universe sends that energy right back into your life by blessing you even more baby So keep that in mind, my loves. Subscribe and have that notification bell so you are updated when I post my next topic and check out my playlist too. I have so many topics in here that you can really benefit from. So check them out. And pretty soon, I'm going to be having a lot of new stories that do get introduced to my channel. These are going to be new stories that you can actually watch. Not just listen to through the podcast or bash my door if you fell in my motherfucking podcast. Stay tuned. Because it's going to be a lot of new stories that you can watch, mama, papas. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram. My Instagram name is right on my screen. So go ahead and follow me because I would love to have you, baby. About a dear money, Sharifa. Crew, crew, gang, gang, family, what's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> But until next time, my loves. Peace, love, and light always. Mwah. Later.